Hi, if you like statement lighting and the sounds of nature and really genius hacks, you're gonna love today's episode. Ugh. Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back to Laugh, Cry, DIY, the show where we turn nightmares into dreams and then we turn those dreams into decor. I have a confession to make. I've been thrifting, getting inspiration, getting into fist fights over throw pillows. Nature is healing. Now we all know that nature truly is healing and that's why I am outdoors today. Is the wind coming? I mean, Beyonce. Fun fact, there's an actual beehive right over that fence and I am very allergic to bees. So truly the suspense is killing me. All right, what are we doing today? We are making pendant lighting. I was recently at the thrift store and I discovered these two beautiful ugly lampshades. Now I have a very exciting makeover coming up in which I envision a beautiful statement light as a center focal point. And here's the truth, I love rattan. It's a beautiful material. There's so many beautiful stylish rattan pendant lights, but you know they're pricey. I wanted to make my own version, but I don't actually know which silhouette is gonna work in my makeover space. So I said, you know what? Let's get them both. Let's give them both a makeover and we will see which one we like. This is going in an outdoor space and I'm worried if it rains, it's gonna get soaked and lose its shape. So I needed a cheap and waterproof material to make a woven design. So I hope you're sitting down. I hope you're in something comfortable because you might faint. My solution is to use dollar store grass skirts. Here's why these are absolutely perfect. They are plastic, dyed to look like rattan. They're strong, so they won't break the way that actual like raffia or rattan ribbon. I don't know the difference between rattan and raffia, so I'm just gonna say. And if they get rained on, they're plastic, so who cares? I mean, summer look. Okay, so here's the plan. We are going to take off all of the ugly things here, and we are gonna use the silhouette, and we are gonna weave that ribbon in beautiful designs, and we are gonna give these lamps the hot girl summer they deserve. Unfortunately, in this society, to become beautiful, you need to go under the knife. So we are going to break her down to build her back up. My mom loves when I film here. See, look, this is what happens when you let go of limiting beliefs. Ooh. All right, we have taken all of the glue, all of the fabric, everything off, and we have a beautiful clean frame. And now we are going to take the rattan ribbon and we are going to wrap the entire frame. I'm not using hot glue because the rule of hot glue is that if this is going to get hot, the glue will melt. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be outside. So I'm gonna go with Gorilla Wood glue because it can sustain temperatures up to 200 degrees. We're just gonna dab and wrap as we go. And something nice is that it actually is kind of wide as you start to open it. So that makes it easier to wrap and you cover more space. I'm also gonna dab a little bit of glue just along the way. I'm using a binder clip to hold the seam where I started a new um, thread. Alrighty, the top is all done. Now only seven million more spokes. Glad that was on camera. All right, so she's beautiful. We still have a clamp waiting to dry, but we are gonna start our weave pattern. And basically this is really simple. We are simply going to go all the way around and tie the strings like this. Just gonna knot off each individual one and do it as tight as possible so that the weave that comes through is also very tight. I will be knotting them at the bottom, but I'm just gonna do the top ones first and then the, flip it over and tie off the bottom ones. All right, we are beautifully tied up. And now I'm going to tie the bottoms into the middle spokes to get these out of the way. Okay, look how pretty that is. Okay, game time decision. I was gonna do a full like basket weave on this, but I 
think this is so beautiful and so simple that I think what I'm gonna do instead is just fill in with more vertical lines and make it kind of like a little simple cage style. She is getting more and more beautiful. All right, honestly, at this point, I wanna stop, but I can't because every time I do a new row, it just gets cuter and cuter. So I think I'm just gonna keep filling this in. And honestly, you get how it goes. So I'm just gonna do this off camera and I'm gonna do the second lamp later. Ooh, baby, we are back. It is day two and we're still outside and we have totally transformed this beautiful lampshade and she is looking totally beautiful. So now it is time to move on to her sister. So I went ahead and took the liberty of pre-wrapping this one in all of the little rattan ribbon. And now we are going to do her design, which is gonna be a little bit different. So for this... So for this little cutie, I'm just gonna start with one. So I'm just going around and I'm nodding at each little spoke. I could... I think if I can tie them tight enough, they're pretty decent. And if they start to slip, I'll just glue them in place. I'm also adjusting their placement as I go if it's needed. Alrighty, she is done and beautiful. So many planes. All right, so I didn't wanna waste your time testing some weave patterns on camera, but I finally figured out the perfect basket weave that we're gonna do, and it is going to look like this. OMG, so beautiful, so pretty, elegant, glamorous, but mysterious as well. So here is how you can do this very simply, very easily. So the key to doing this successfully is using strands that are nice and flat, ones that aren't twisted or really thin. That way you can have a nice wide, even basket weave as you go through the process. So basically what we're gonna do is what we've been doing all along, which is tying off at one end and then weaving this whole tail through the other ribbon so that it sits tight. You wanna space them consistently at the top and at the bottom, and then that way you'll have a really nice splayed out pattern like that that's pretty um, symmetrical. And if you keep it nice and tight, then you can actually manually go back in and adjust the ribbons so that they lay exactly where you want them to. So I've actually been working upside down um, because I'm doing these shorter knots at the top. I'm gonna do single knots at the top and go back and double knot them. That way, if anything's loose or wonky, I can easily get it off. Alrighty, well, we've woven everything through and I'm just working on knotting off the top, but I think I can definitely say it is time for your final reveal. So I hope you guys enjoyed crafting in the great outdoors with me. If you have a couple hours to listen to a podcast, to watch your favorite murder documentary, this is a great activity to spruce up something in your house. Like and subscribe, and until next time, I will see you in the great outdoors.